Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and welcome here to another site visit, this time in the sun and again on a site with Chase Town Civil Engineering. But the reason why this is, is I promised my fellow interviewee Richard uh, Baker here from Baker Groundworks that I'd come back and follow his story because he was one of the most successful videos I did when I started my business a couple of years ago, Richard. Can't believe it's been two years. And wow, what a transformation. Last time you had a different machine, you got a brand new 920 Liebherr, still with the likes of Encon, MC1 machine control system from Leica. Tell me all about the story. We've been very busy. We decided to invest in a new machine, a little bit bigger for a bit more sort of capacity, a bit more production, and we're over the moon with it. You've been crunching the numbers around productivity, around cost, around the amount of plant on site, and obviously therefore your impact to the environment and fuel burn. Tell me about the sort of numbers, Richard. We reckon in the past two years that we've been using MC1 and NCON combined, we reckon that we've reduced our labour by 45%. Wow. We've reduced the amount of plant on site by 66%. 66%. Hold on a minute, folks. So it's 66%. Let's put it into context. A third yes. is now you're doing this work with a third less plant. Yes. And we've increased our turnover actually by 25%. So let me get this straight. All of these figures mean that you're reducing plant. You're reducing the, the carbon impact because you're reducing the plant, because the same amount of plant was used to do the same work, folks. That's the important bit. Then you're also doing things more productively and your turnover's going up. You haven't got more hours in the day, Richard, have you? You're still working really hard, I know, but yeah. that's because you, with this combination yeah. of Encon, uh, the co-pilot system with Leica in there, yeah. you're able to do more. So why the, the Liebherr machine then? Because, you know, this is a pretty big bucket at the size that you didn't have before when I last saw you. Just more productivity, really. We were looking at machines in the sort of 20 ton zero swing class and the Lieber, it's kind of the lightest machine, I think, in, in that class that you could buy at the moment. It weighs 22 and a half ton. I think if we were to have gone for an Attache or um, a Volvo, you'd sort of be 27, 28 ton, which just it's just a bit heavy, really, for what we're doing around houses. Richard's got to transport not just this machine, not just the Encon tilt rotator in this bucket. How many buckets and attachments have you got for Encon now? At the last count, we had 17 buckets. And, 17 buckets? And I think, yeah, about five or six attachments. And so, realistically, you know, you've almost got this similar kind of weight uh, in all of the attachments that you've got to take on site. So, you know, having something that's a lighter machine is, is important. But talk to me as well about the fact that you've done some modifications on here and the way in which the Leica sensors are put on. The machine was specced from Lieber as like Leica ready. Yep. So all, all the different positions for fastening all the sensors and that, they, they all came sort of on the machine from their factory and then it was spec to a very high spec. We've had the best cab that you can have with like dark windows and the premium seat and footrests and sun blinds and you know, it's got everything in there apart from a kitchen sink really. There's one important thing that you've done with Lee Bear as well, isn't it? And that's the lighting, lighting package yeah. on this. Tell me about that. I think in total, it's got 18 or 20 Nordic lights on it. So usually four are probably enough, but there's, I'm sure there's about 18 on it and they've put a lighting package together or two of their lighting packages and then also they've fabricated Scandinavian styled light bars with like flashing LEDs and marker lights. So really this is all about being safe on site as well because being productive is one thing Richard isn't it but being safe is, is really important and, and those levels of lighting package everybody would have thought they'd be draining the machine's battery but they're all new LEDs aren't they? When you're looking at the, the way in which you can work this machine then, you know, you can do all sorts of different things and people can literally see you, you're floodlit. When you get on to those tracks, it's, it's, it's there for everyone to see, isn't it? We're finding with the lights as well, we don't really lose any time through the winter months. Typically, you know, your you sort of working day sort of decreases by a couple of hours, you know, through, through the winter, but we find with, with good lights, we, we don't really lose any time. And that's, again, folks, about what we're talking about here in productivity terms. This is massive for your business, isn't it? it is, yeah. But, you know, you talked to me before and you said, actually, Peter, you know, the business from your perspective, it's about being more sustainable. 
two years ago, you, you didn't have this uh, Encon Leica no. piece. So the, there's a couple of other elements we, we spoke about as well. There's no reworks because you've got the model in there. Yes. Um, there's obviously the tilt rotator, so less wear on your tracks Definitely. because you've got the tilt rotator. Yeah. No uh, getting out of the cab to change things, so no time lost. Yeah. So all of these factors come into play. And what you're saying is, is uh, recently, Chase Town Civil Engineering, all of their team are now using machine control and in their case, JCB uh, machines. And so what's that actually meant to the, you and, and the whole team, the wider team? Um, what we found on this site in particular, um, the road and sewer team coming ahead of us. And what we found really is that because they're using models that then sort of tie into our models, everywhere where we need to dig for a connection or a road crossing or something like that, they're exactly where they're supposed to be. Where previously we'd be hunting for things for an hour or a day or whatever, now literally we can dig onto a pipe and f find it like almost instantly. Road crossings which we seem to spend a lot of time or did previously spend a lot of time finding because we know they've installed them with a model and we're now looking for them on the same model. It's like, bingo, they're there straight away. Traditionally, it would have been set out by an engineer. Um, all of our foundations are on MC1. All of our plot drainage is on there now for line and grade. We even have scaffold mats, lines for scaffold mats, so you haven't got lads having to walk around spraying lines on floors. All of our swales that we're doing at the moment, open spaces, uh, drive constructions, garden constructions, everything, ev everything that you could think about, service positions, avoidance zones, everything that you could possibly think of now is on, it, on MC1. That word avoidance zone, really, because that's where we're going to make sure that we're safer on site. Say so we have um, a rising main on this site that goes, follows the road over there and I've got to go digging like gas, fibre and electric mains there in about a week's time but the exact route of it is plotted and if I go anywhere near it my screen will go red and it's on there as an avoidance zone like so we don't go digging or damaging it or putting something on top of it that we shouldn't. And tell me you're not only using the tablet with the MC1 system now, you know previously you were, you were loading models up with a, with a stick weren't you but yeah. Tell me, you're using another system now? We're using Leica's Connect system now. So um, our engineer has like a login and all of our models, he'll phone me or message me and he'll say, press sync on Monday morning and the next area that we're moving into, all the information we want is just there, like at the touch of a button. Not only are we more productive, Richard, we're, and we're safer and we're lit up and we can do more, uh, the machine looks like a beast, even though it's only a 920. Yeah. What have your thoughts on actually operating it so far and, and, and how's it been? It's nice, it's as smooth as anything I've ever driven. Accurate, seems very good on fuel as well. It weighs, I think, about eight and a half tonne more than what my previous case weighed, and yet it only uses about a litre of fuel an hour more. So I'm going to sort of wrap it all up here, Richard. We're safer on site, that's the number one thing. We've got the MC1 Leica Geosystems tablet in there with all of the different elements uh, from here, including avoidance zones. Yeah. You've got co-pilot on here, so that means you, you can actually control the NCON tilt rotator. You've got 17, I'm sure he's going to get more buckets, so that allows you to do everything on site. You're burning less fuel, 60 odd percent less plant. All of this means that Richard is being far more sustainable on site here for a building of houses uh, for, for people to live in. This has been a really big journey for you as an individual. You took a big gamble and you bought some expensive equipment, attachments and machine control, and it's paid off, hasn't it? And that's where I'll tip my cap to Richard and I love it when owner operators like Richard lead the way here and keep investing. All credit to you, Richard. Thanks for having me back.